Hello Cancer and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe video. Cancer, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and some oracle cards to get the messages that you're looking for. Cancer, I'll remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and your ascended sign because together this is going to give you a much fuller reading. Also remember that these videos are generalized. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else. And if you need me to have a look at your own personal circumstances, my website is in the description box below. Just get in touch and I'll be more than happy to work with you. So this is what we have for you, Cancer. We are seeing that you're feeling secure. Maybe your health, you're feeling really healthy, you're feeling good, you're feeling fit, your money, you have secured yourself, your abundance. So this could be that your savings at the moment are looking good. You have really worked for your money and you're making sure that your money is working for you. So we're seeing that success is what is this week is all about. Success about your money, success about your health, success about your home. Success in every single area of your life because the pentacles rule the things that are important into our life. So these are your possessions, your home, your wealth, your career. It's about stability, right? It's about your investments, your day-to-day -day life. So this is what you're really feeling good about. So perhaps your job is saying to you, hey guys, we're just coming in to tell you that don't worry, whatever is happening out there in the world, the company is doing really well at the moment, so your jobs are safe. And so you're like, oh, okay. So now you're feeling safe. And then you're thinking to yourself, you know, maybe I should start saving up. So now you're putting your money to whatever it is where you feel that your money is going to be safe. And then you're thinking to yourself, you know, before we go on any lockdowns, I'm going to go and get some checkups so that my health is is good so you're going to get your your teeth checked up your you know your health your breasts your whatever it is you're making sure that everything all the i's are dotted all the t's are dotted before we go into quarantine again so this is where you are at the moment just making sure that all different elements of your life are really taken care of because perhaps when we went in quarantine last time, that took you by surprise. But this time you're like, no, I'm going to make sure that I have bought enough food and there's enough food in the house to last me X amount of days, weeks, months, whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. I have this and that. So you're making sure that your possessions, food, your house, everything is really taken care of. And then this week, this is where if you haven't taken care of these areas of your life, the universe really is coming in to say that this week it's important that you do. Okay, so don't say that you were not warned. You have been warned and I've delivered that message to you. The next card is the Empress. I like the Empress card because again, this is that card all about mothering, nurturing. So this energy again that's coming in is all about you nurturing not only yourself and your health you're nurturing your home you're nurturing your environment so perhaps you're starting to make sure that you're growing your own vegetables food whatever it is that you're growing but there's something that you're definitely growing and bringing into the world soon maybe you are pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant or getting ready to bring out this baby into the world. This is also possible. But I feel that for you, you are just thinking to yourself, okay, I have understood that life is changing at the moment and you being the emperor, you're looking at your home because our emperor is facing the pentacles. So you're looking at your pentacles, you're looking at your home, your security, your peace of mind, your everything. And you're saying to yourself, because you are the emperor. You're saying to yourself, what am I manifesting? What am I manifesting into the next couple of months or years ahead? 
because you're realizing that for you, what is going to be feeling comfortable or uncomfortable are the things that you are capable of changing. So you are taking your life into your own hands and this is that like birthing something new. And you're asking yourself, okay, have I made sure that my world, my own world is secure, is comfortable? Have I really taken the time to look at different aspects of my home to make sure that if anything happens in the next couple of months that I am safe? Have I created this environment of safety for myself and for my family? And this is what the universe is saying, that if you're feeling that mm, I haven't, then now is the time that you do. And this is really important that you understand that. So the next card here that we have is the Guardian. So the Guardian energy is coming in to say to you that you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Perfect. So you are safe and spiritually you're protected also. So make sure that you are listening. The divine is here giving you these messages, telling you that you are protected and you you and your family are safe. But at the same time, you are realizing that you still have to do something. You still have to act. You still have to go and create this safety. You are just not relying on God, on the divine to create the safety for you. You are realizing that you and the divine are in tandem. You are creating. So you are putting some effort and the universe is reflecting that effort that you're putting into. You're putting some effort here. The universe is reflecting that effort, creating that protection and safety for your family. But at the same time, you're not forgetting because you're mature, right? You're not a child. So you're not forgetting that you actually have to go out there and make things happen. You actually have to go out there and go and buy the food for your family that they might need as the months go on. You are making sure that you are nurturing, taking care of your family, taking care of business, taking care of everything that you need to take care of. To take care of. And on top of that, you're then being blessed by the protection from the divine. But don't forget to do your part, okay? So the next uh, part of this reading is coming in as an oracle card. And this oracle card is the oracle. So this oracle card being the oracle is saying that wait for important information. So perhaps you have been waiting for important information, but the divine is saying to me right now, this is the important information that you've been waiting for. This is that nudge that you have been waiting for. So make sure that you are acting because this situation is going to be getting real, real soon. So make sure that you've made the preparations that you need to make. So the next card here that we have is the observer. So this card is also encouraging you to observe your world, observe what the news is saying, observe different messages from me, from what the media is saying and what your intuition is saying. You are sitting there observing and then you're not only observing, you are saying your prayers, asking for clarity. You are going within yourself to see what messages are coming up for you because the divine doesn't have to communicate through me. The divine communicates through you too, but it's for you to be able to know how to decipher those messages. The challenge is for you to start learning how to rely on your own intuition and not looking at anybody else okay so the last actually not the last card the next card here that we have is happy family i love seeing that so we're seeing that by using your discernment by being mature by being responsible 
by knowing that life is always changing, but all that you can do is do your part and the divine can bless your efforts, right? So remember what I said, it's, an, it's like a mirror. What you do, the divine um, reflects, reflects back to you. So for me, I get the feeling that happy family and creating that safety, that stability being number four is about stability, right? If you've got a table, you need four legs to have that stability, you know? So I'm seeing that stability is really important for you. Happy family is really important for you. So I can see why the universe is giving the Empress card as one of our major kind of, as the major kind of card in this reading. So it's all about you creating that environment of a happy family. You really looking and going within. We can see that our, our emperor has her eyes closed and going within and seeing what it is that you need to do so that you are ready and you're not caught out when this situation is delivered out into the world. So stability is something that's really on your mind here, Cancer. And make sure that you are out there creating that stability because here we also have the number four. So we're seeing that yes, on your mind, stability, family, a happy family, a happy home, but also making sure that you have food, making sure that your health is on point, making sure that you have done everything that you can do to have this stability going forward so you can go dancing off into the rainbow like the card. The next card that we have is almost like a warning that the universe wants to, to give you. So this warning is coming in from this card, this number 19 card, and it's saying to you to watch out for parasites. And what does that mean? Well, the divine is saying, be really aware of the people that you're surrounding yourself with, the energies that you're surrounding yourself with. Be careful and be really aware of what you are consuming, so what's going on in your mind. And what you're consuming is through social media. What posts are you seeing on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook? Because you could just be scrolling. But when you see and read that post, even though you've scrolled, that is going into your subconscious mind. Okay. And this is where you start creating these energies of I'm afraid of what the future holds. This is where you're starting creating these energies of, oh, the future looks so dark, blue, gloomy. I am you know so the universe is saying hey they've noticed that you're doing this a lot try and limit the time you have on social media switch off the news or at least consume that on a very small amount start protecting your energy start shielding your energy because by you watching the news watching all the different posts on instagram social media and stuff like that you are getting your energy sucked out. You are getting this energy that you should be using to go and prepare for the future. This energy that you should be using to go and create that life that you want. The security for your family. Because the divine is saying that really the power that you have here from this week onwards is you realizing that what you should really concentrate and really focus, laser focus on, is your own life and how you can create your own life based on your own principles, on what you believe in. Really focus on your own life, on your own world, because really this is what you can change. This is where the power that you have, this is where it lies. By creating a happy home, making sure that you and your family are happy, are vibrating high. You're going out right now and sunbathing, taking in that vitamin D. You're going out in nature and really lifting up your vibration. This is how you're changing your world. And yes, the world out there could be crazy and chaotic, but you're shielding yourself. You're turning away from that and saying, no, parasite, I am protecting my energy. My energy is vibrant. My world is good because I have taken out the time that was needed to create the safety that me and my family needed. 
And yes, we all don't know what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, when the world starts saying, oh my God, there's no food, you can say, okay, fine. I make sure that the kids were going to be fed. I made sure that our house, we had solar panels or solar lights or solar whatever. So we've got electricity. I made sure that we had food. I made sure that we had whatever it is that's important to you. Okay. So then, because you took the time out to nurture your world, to create and protect your world, your world, this is where your power is. So when the world starts going to shit, whatever is going on, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm glad I took the time out to make sure that me and my family were going to be okay. So I think I've looked at all the card. This is the message that the divine wanted you to know, Cancer. And this is the message I had to deliver for you. Again, if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Get in touch. I'll be happy to work with you. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day. On that note, I'll see you in my next video, Cancer. It's a goodbye from me. Bye.